we just ordered food to be delivered at home from a local restaurant. Shortly after, you receive this text message. Can you tell what's wrong with it? I reveal it in the number one scam in this video, so stay with me until the end. But until then, here are another three evil Christmas scams. My name is Dom, I'll be your host while you're watching Scam Detector. Number 4. Puppy as a gift. You all know how the song goes, right? All I want for Christmas is a puppy! Many children's dream is to get a puppy for Christmas. I mean, if they could choose between a new sibling and a dog, they would probably choose the dog. I, I really don't know how it's relevant right now, but whatever. So parents, I mean Santa Claus, obviously wants to make the children's dream come true and he will do everything in his power to do it. Okay, let's look at the scam. And this is a true story that actually happened in my family about a month ago. So Santa wants to get a puppy and he will use the power of the internet to look for ones for sale. He soon comes across this man who is selling these really cute puppies and they're not even that expensive. Not that Santa couldn't afford anything, but well, these are challenging times and even he has to look at the prices. One thing though that catches his attention is that the images of the puppies were all made in different locations, but of course it doesn't stop Santa to contact the seller. And here is where things start to smell fishy. The guy who picks up the phone barely even speaks English, which of course isn't an immediate red flag, although communication is always key. But here is how he wants to get done with the deal and pay attention, it's... You're gonna be mad. He says that the puppies are at a different location from where he lives, so the crooks ask the victims to pay by a Western Union or MoneyGram so that the payments are not traceable. In addition to this, scammers claim to use a certain transportation company to send over the puppies. Then, they create fake shipping companies and email addresses that would require the victims to pay custom fees or any additional costs. Like what? Giving somebody cash up front that you don't even know and barely even speaks English? Get out of here, man! So obviously the seller wasn't even a real seller. He wasn't selling puppies. He just grabbed a few photos from the great World Wide Web and uploaded to some site to make you believe that he is selling these cute dogs. And if somebody falls for the scam and gives the man the cash up front, well, that money is as good as gone. In even more extreme situations, these fake sellers will tell you stories how his loved one died and now he wants to get rid of everything that reminds him of them. You know, just to persuade you even more into buying the little puppy. How to avoid the puppy scam? Click the pet scam link in the description of the video as we reveal a few cool ways that will show you how to recognize if the seller is real or not. Anyway, let's move on. And you might want to stick around because the number one scam is related to something that you do at least once a week. Number three, jobs during holidays. Christmas is the holiday of love. It's the motto. It's actually the holiday of spending a whole lot of money and defining love in dollars. It's actually really sad. And for this reason, and also because of the pandemic, some people might look for more jobs during the holidays on the internet to make some extra money. Or they just recently lost their jobs, but they still want to make the holidays nice for their families and loved ones. And this makes them perfect targets for cyber criminals. While there are legit work from home opportunities on the internet, there are also ones that require you to give out personal data and then get no work at all. The scammers make them look lucrative, but they only lead to identity theft and to an unhappy Christmas and New Year. And the worst ones even give you jobs in the form of laundering money for cyber heists. To avoid this scam, do a thorough research on the job posting, request a video interview and only give out personal information when you're convinced that the position is offered by a real and legit company. Number 2. Custom Christmas Credit Card Christmas is very expensive. We try to prepare for it, but shit always hits the fan, like a random 2020. And our Christmas savings just has to go elsewhere. So when Christmas comes and we want to buy everything for everyone, a little extra cash would always come in handy. 
Now, scammers know everything and they're prepared to scam you at your lowest and at your highest. They will scam the heck out of you if you're not careful enough. Here is how the scam works. On a snowy winter morning, when you open your mailbox, you find a special offer in it. You now have the chance to get your hands on a prepaid custom Christmas credit card. So cute. If you haven't believed in Santa so far, now you definitely do. You don't even care that in order to receive the credit card, you need to pay a $10 processing fee. You pay for it and then you wait for your credit card to arrive. Except that Santa Claus from the freaking North Pole would arrive faster because that credit card is just simply not coming. If you want to avoid this scam, just note this. A real offer like this just doesn't exist. A credit card offer can come from your bank or from other banks. But in all cases, you'd always have to sign a contract with them first. And just by default, always be suspicious when you receive special offers from companies or from email addresses that you're not familiar with. Number one, food delivery scam. Okay, I'm gonna take this coat off because it's really hot. <laughs> this Christmas will be different. Many people are staying inside and they even run errands from the comfort of their homes. They do everything from, from home. It's actually pretty cool that people could do that nowadays, right? So this might mean that they don't even go out to buy groceries so they could cook for Christmas, but they rather choose to order food online. It's a win-win situation. You don't have to worry about cooking that you always hate, or maybe you don't. And you can also support local restaurants that had to close for the public due to restrictions. Actually, every single restaurant had to close where I live, so that really sucks. Now I can't go to McDonald's. This is how the scam works. Imagine that it's one of those calm and quiet holiday season evenings and you just ordered food and paid for it using your mobile phone. Dealing with presents and being with your family and all the usual holiday stuff, you're getting hungry. But you know that your food is due in about 45 minutes. All of a sudden you receive a text message like this. You're like, nah, -uh, that's not happening, not tonight. The message itself doesn't immediately raise a red flag for you because, well, links are usually shortened in text messages and the link also has the HTTPS in it, so it looks legit. When you click the link, a page like this comes up. As this whole scam, like many others, is based on software and geolocation. It will show your city, so you actually believe that something is wrong. Okay, so you see that you need to pay a $3 delivery fee. That calms you down, your evening isn't ruined after all. So you quickly proceed with the payment using the link provided in the text message. Now, what you did not notice is that USPS does not ever deliver food. Your food will be delivered via a food delivery company like Uber Eats or by the restaurant's own delivery guy. But definitely not USPS. You might think that $3 is no biggie, and you're right about that. But remember that they took you to a payment page where you gave in your credit card details. Now that's the real danger here. This scam only applies to delivery services and restaurants where you pay for your food when you order and not when you get it. But there are tons of them. So obviously you have a lot of questions as to how scammers knew that you just ordered food and how you can avoid it. Scammers didn't know. They just send out tens of thousands of messages at once and they fish for victims. And they catch a lot of them, unfortunately, because these days many people order food online. How to avoid? Call the restaurant first and ask about your order. That's the easiest way to confirm a message like this. Don't ever pay for anything in advance before thinking first. Even when you're hungry and it's hard to use your brain. But that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, please give this video a big, big, big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also hit the notification bell so you're always notified when there's a new video on the channel. Make sure to visit scam-detector.com for over 1300 exposed scams. Go check out the links in the description below because you might find a few that interest you. But my name is Dom, I'm going to see you next time and you watched Scam Detector.